The space bar, definitely. What else is used a lot? S? It could be right at your fingertips. Microbiologist Dr. Suzanne Lindgren is swabbing this laptop for bacteria. Now this is going to let us see total bacteria. There you go. She helped us swab 13 different surfaces. She also swabbed the men's bathroom, the handle, and the toilet seat. Here's why. British researchers found there are 18 times more bacteria on a cell phone than on a flush handle in a typical man's restroom. Okay, we're getting our plates out and see what we've got. We swabbed a number of surfaces for bacterial growth. At the top of the list is the MacBook Pro. Then comes the men's bathroom, followed by the touchscreen devices. We don't know if these are germs or if there's a flu virus here. That requires more testing, but what we do know, some of the Petri dishes are loaded with bacteria. Most of what I see look like normal bacterial flora from their hands and to me are not worrisome. The bright yellow ones are probably micrococcus. This laptop's keyboard is where we found the most bacteria. Surprisingly, the touchscreen devices, the iPhone, the GPS, and the iTouch had less bacteria than the men's toilet seat or the men's flush handle. Researchers believe cell phones can be technological petri dishes for tens of thousands of germs. Researchers have found traces of Staphylococcus aureus, E. coli, Salmonella, Streptococcus. Researchers say there's a lot of bacteria just hanging out on touchscreen digital devices like this iPad. I think they're just hanging out waiting to go someplace warm and moist where they can grow. Scientists say if you touch a screen, 30% of any virus already there will end up on your fingertips. That could end up in your eyes, mouth, or nose, and eventually get you sick. Dr. Lindgren says how much bacteria we find on the things we tested truly depended on the owner, the user, and the item. What is certain? Scrubbing our hands for 17 seconds, which is happy birthday through twice. We should wash our hands and disinfect everything often. In Sacramento, Suzanne Fawn, News 10.